Awesome. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Spring Make Camp. Today we're going to be doing a class on how to make rolled paper flowers. We're going to do a little scene with the rolled paper flowers. Um, and we're just giving everyone a few minutes to, to get on in into class and, and then we'll get started. Um, we have Lindsay as our, our moderator today. If you have any questions at all while I'm going through it, feel free to put them in the Q&A. She'll be monitoring that for me. Um, and looks like we have we have about 105 people on. We've got lots of people joining us. So I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. My name is Stacy. I work for Michaels. I'm the uh, education content designer here at Michaels. So I help with the online classes. Um, and I mean, that's kind of it about me. I, I, I'm ready to, to get started. So let's go ahead and move on to the other camera and we'll look at what we're going to do today. So this is the project. So I made this one ahead of time. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making these little rolls out of construction paper. And then we're going to use pipe, pipe cleaners for the stems and the leaves. And then for the background, we're using a canvas and some more construction paper for the grass and the clouds. And then we're using some paint for the sky. Now, if you don't have these specific supplies, that's perfectly fine. Just use whatever you have at home. You're welcome, even if you just have like a pencil and a paper and you just wanna draw some flowers, that's perfectly fine. The whole point of these classes is just for you to relax, have some fun creating, enjoying and crafting. And if you wanna make this later, this class is being recorded and you can always watch it again at michaels.com slash classes or on our YouTube page the day after the class. So let's go ahead and go over the supplies. And if you ever need to see this again, just let me know and I can show it again if we have some real advanced crafters in our class and they want to see what the next step is. And I'm just going to put this off to the side for now. So today, like I said, we're going to be using this square canvas and then we are going to be using CraftSmart Blue Sky Paint. If you have a different type of paint, that's perfectly fine. You wouldn't even have to use blue. You could use, if you wanted to use a yellow, you could do like a sunset or you could do a purple. You could do like a night sky. You don't have to do exactly what I want. If you want to make a rainbow sky, you can. It is your world. It is your canvas. It is your creation. So feel free to be as creative as you want with it. So we're going to be using this glue stick. Any glue stick will work. Or if you don't have a glue stick, you can also use regular glue. We're going to be using both for this project because I felt I found that both are useful in different parts. But if you just have this liquid glue, that's perfectly fine too. We are going to be using pipe cleaners for the stems. Uh, we have a ruler which is going to help us measure a little bit. Though I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of measuring because I find measuring to be kind of complicated and it, it confuses me a little bit. So we're just going to kind of go at our own pace. We're going to have a brush for our paint. Um, we have some scissors so we can cut the rolls for our flowers and for the grass and the, the clouds. And then finally, I have my, my packet of construction paper. All right, so let's get started. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A and Lindsay will let me know as we go along. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my canvas and my, my paintbrush and my paint. Give your paint like a little shape. That sometimes helps mix it up if it's, if it's a little watery. And then I'm just going to take my paint I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to squirt a little bit onto the canvas. So it's a, a little bit, I'm giving it like a, a good generous squirt of paint. And then I'm just going to start painting my canvas blue. I'm just going to paint as much of the canvas as I can, trying to give it like a nice even coating. And the reason I'm doing this first is because I want it to dry while we do the rest. So it'll be nice and dry when we're ready to glue our paper flowers. And don't, and if, if, if you want, you can use a paper towel 
Um, so you don't get pain everywhere, like I'm getting pain everywhere. Um, but I am just painting my canvas blue, what I'm doing. You're painting. We do have a question if they can use watercolor paint. Yes, watercolor would look really, really pretty. I think watercolor on the canvas might react differently because I know I um, was actually just learning about watercolor the other day and I was hearing that watercolor works really, really good on paper, but it has, um, it works differently on canvas. So if it works, that would be great. I think watercolor would be really pretty for this guy. One other question, if they can use a glue stick for this project. You can. So the only problem I was having with just using the glue stick was I was having a hard time getting things to stick to the canvas. So if you're having a hard time do, getting things to stick to the canvas, you might want to get like maybe a roll of tape or something if you don't have any liquid glue. Or like I said, you can always come back later if you can't get things to stick. Don't just don't don't worry if you can't get it to stick. You can always go back and do it later. All right, I think that is nice and blue. So now that that is, is painted, I'm going to put this off to the side and I'm just going to let it dry. Put that here. Oops, I'm gonna put it here. All right, so now that our our paint, our canvas is drying. I'm going to get out some paper so that we can do the rolled paper flowers part. So I'm going to start the rolling. This is really the, the part that takes the most time. So it really depends on how many rolls you want to do for your flower. So generally what we do is we do six rolls of one color and then a yellow roll for the the middle of the flower. But you don't have to do that if you want to do a different type of flower. You can do any flower you want. I was thinking it'd be really cute if you did a sunflower, you could do yellow rolls and a little brown roll in the at the in the middle right there for a sunflower. Or I like I I was experimenting with doing more than six rolls and just trying little different different flowers if you want to do it. Make it make it your own. Do as many as you want. But I'm gonna just stick to the six regular colors. You could even do rainbow if you wanted to. So I am going to get out some construction paper. So I have some colors here. So I really like blue and I like red and I like purple. So those are the colors that I chose. But you can, again, choose any color you want. There's tons of colors in this little pad. You use any color you want. And then I have my thing of yellow for the parts. So for the strips, so what I'm going to do for the strips is I am just going to eyeball it. Now, if you want to be super precise, you can use the ruler to measure out. Like, I wouldn't go more than half an inch. So that little line right like in the middle between the zero and the one is where I would I would make your mark if you're going to do that. So you can't really put that little line right there. So if you want to be super precise, you can do that. Um, but I'm just going to eyeball it because I think it's perfectly fine if you just want to get cutting and, and, and do it that way. So what I do is I'm going to cut one strip and then, and it doesn't have to be perfect because so it's all going to roll up. The only thing you want to avoid is just making a strip that's too thin so that you can't roll it and or a strip that's too thick. Now you could do something like if you wanted to do a really big flower, you could do a thicker strip if you wanted to do like a like one big flower instead of like a bunch of little ones. It's really up to you and how you want to do it. So I usually do about half a length, like the full length of the paper um, as one of my rolls for the flower. So this is technic. So this I'm going to use as two rolls. So I'm going to cut this in half. And if you want to be super precise about it, you can fold it in half so that the two ends are together like that. And then you just fold it. And then you have a little line where you want to make your cut. And then I just snip it like that. And now 
here's two of my pieces of paper that I'm going to be using as rolls. So I need six. So I'm going to do, let's see, let's do some math. So I have two and if each strip is two. So if I do another one, I'll have four. So I need two more long strips to make a full set of six for us to roll. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again. There we go. And I'm just, again, I just like it to be natural. So I'm not being super duper precise. I'm just kind of going at my own piece here. There we go. And then I'm going to do that again, where I just fold them in half, take the two sides like that, and do that. And then I'm just going to fold it so I get my crease. I'm going to cut it right at that crease. And there, I have two more strips to use. So now I have four strips, so I need one more to complete this first flower. All right, and there we go. I remind myself to keep myself in the camera so everyone can actually see what I'm doing. Does anyone have any questions while we're going on? Or if you, if you have any comments, feel free to put them in the q and I'm happy to answer it. I know kind of going at a quick pace here so we can get through everything. If you need me there, to do anything. Yep. There were a few responses that they did not have paint. So they were using um, the colored construction paper for the sky as well. So I thought that was a That's great a idea. Great idea. What a great suggestion. Very creative, everyone. All right, so I have all my strips of purple. That's gonna be my flower. And then I'm gonna do one strip, I'm gonna do half a strip of yellow for the center. So I'm gonna cut the whole strip because we're gonna do a couple of flowers, but I only need half a strip. So I'm gonna cut the strip just like we did with all the other ones exactly the same. There we go. And then I'm going to line it up. End to end. So if you do that, make sure you guys can see. And then fold it. And snip. And there we go. Just going to use one of these and I'm going to set this one aside for another flower. So here are all the strips we're going to use for our flower. So we'll start with rolling out the, the yellow one since that's our center. And so this, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to fold the one end and then I'm just going to keep folding it over and over until I get to the very end. Hope you guys can see that. If you have trouble seeing, just let me know. I can see if I can't get it another angle for you. I'm just Keep folding it over until we get to the end. And at the very end, that's when we're going to use the glue stick. That, this is where I felt the glue stick was the most useful is when I wanted to secure my rolls. Okay, so I have a little bit left here. So I'm going to take that glue stick and I'm going to open it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the end, but like a good amount so that it makes sure that it sticks properly. And then I just smooth it over. There's our little yellow roll and that's gonna be the middle of our flower. And so we're just gonna do that again with all of these purple strips. We're just going to fold it. So I'm just folding the edge there, just like that. And I'm just going to fold it over each time so that we make our roll. There we go. We're just going to keep rolling. And it doesn't, if they don't all need to be the same, you can, if they're all a little different, that's perfectly fine. Every flower is different. And you're going to notice, like if you go out in the, I'll go out and like, go for a walk and look at the flowers, like all the petals, they all look different. They don't all have to look the same. All right, so we're at the end. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on there for the glue stick. And again, if you don't have a glue stick and you just have liquid glue, just put a little dab there. Don't put a whole bunch because it's gonna it's gonna leak everywhere, but you can put a little bit there. See, I didn't put enough glue stick glue on there, so it's coming up. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on it. There we go. Nice. Gail, Gail has a great suggestion to that you could use a pencil for rolling. That's also, that's a great suggestion. If you have a pencil, that'll make this go by so much easier and it'll be a lot easier to roll. Or you could also use, if you wanted to, if you wanted to use like the end of a paintbrush, you could also do that and you could roll it that way as well. I'm just gonna keep hand rolling it. It's a little easier for me to do. There we go. So we're just folding and rolling. That's all we're doing. Just doing that with each petal. And let me know if anyone is is doing anything, anything super creative with yours. Are you using, are you using, are you using construction paper? Like um, the one suggestion for your sky, are you, are you doing a different color sky or different color flowers? What, what color flowers is everyone doing? What's your favorite color of flower? I really like it. I really like 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 purples and blues. You don't you don't see those a lot out in nature. I see like yellows and reds a lot, but sometimes you see like a nice pretty blue flower, and those are always like I live in Texas, and we have we have what are called blue bonnets. That's our our uh, state flower, and whenever those are blooming, it's always super pretty to see a field of them. So I just did that again. So I just repeated the exact same thing I did where I just rolled it and then I, I put some glue with my glue stick. If you have any fun flower facts too, put those in the, the q and I'd love to know. If you have- Carly, Carly likes blue and purple flowers as well. Oh, that's great. I love blue and purple. Those are great colors. Deborah is, uh, has made a pink sky. Ooh, that's pretty. Like a sunset in the pink. Yes, and we have a blue and purple sky. Ooh, get multicolor in there. I love it. Everyone's so creative. All right, there we go. We got another one, and I'm just going to put some glue on there so that we can secure it. I was trying to think of like some fun flower facts. I have one. Um, and it's about sunflowers. So I, I've, I've read this and I'm not sure how entirely accurate it is, but sunflowers, um, though the fun thing about sunflowers is the reason they're called sunflowers is when you see a field of sunflowers, they're always facing towards the sun. And what I read was that if sunflowers, if they can't find the sun, they'll actually face towards each other instead, which I think is really, it's really cute. Because sunflowers, they look at each other and they think they're the sun. Let's see here, this one's, there we go. Got that one done. We got three more to go. So I'm just gonna keep on going here. If anyone has any questions again, feel free to put them in the chat. We do have one question just to go steps you've done so far at a, at a high level so that they can catch up? Sure, absolutely. So the very first thing I did, so let me get out this, the finished project. So the first thing that we did is we, we took the canvas board. So we have a little canvas board and I painted it blue. And right now I am working, right now, right now it is sitting and it's drying. So I have my, my blue canvas board drying while we roll our little flowers. And right now we've done, we've done a couple of flowers or a couple of petals for our flower. And I just cut strips, just little half an inch strips of paper from cardboard or from construction paper. And I'm just doing each petal and I'm gonna do a total of six petals and then one in the middle for the, the center. And that is this, that is as far as we've gotten so far. And again, if you are if you're behind and you need to catch up and you're having a hard time keeping up, 
don't worry, this class is being recorded. You can go and you can rewatch it as many times as you need on our YouTube channel and on michaels.com slash classes. So it will be available later. All right, I'm gonna keep on rolling. Um, Jennifer said they're using patterned paper for the flowers and watercolor for the background. That's a great idea. How clever. That's going to look really pretty. And you know, if if you ever want to share your work, if you can get permission from your, your parents to share it on social media, we'd love to see it. Um, we follow the hashtags make it with Michaels and hashtag Michaels classes. So feel free to tag us and let us see your finished product. We'd love to see them. I think that would be really cool to look at. All right. Okay, I've got another one done there. So we have two more to go. Here we go. So Chase has given us a fun fact that some spiders and snakes hide inside flowers waiting for bees and hummingbirds. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. Thank you. What a great fact. I know, I know there's a, I know um, one of my favorite things to do um, is to look up uh, bumblebees sleeping in flowers. I love I, I love bumblebees. I think they're super cute, and and it's just really it's really cute to see them sleeping in a flower. Sometimes when they get tired, they'll they'll find a nearest flower and they'll just curl up in it and they'll fall asleep. All right, there we go, and we got one more. Stacy, can you uh, put the roles that you've already created just slightly down in the screen? Yes, absolutely. I'll just put them right here. Right there, right there. Right there. All right. Can everyone see that? Yes. Awesome. I'm going to continue rolling. Make it so you guys can see. If anybody has any more fun facts, we'd love to hear about them. Okay, there we go. We got this one done. It's our last one. Then after that, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna do the grass because I think our canvas panel is nice and dry now. All right. A little bit more on there. All right, so we have all of our rolls right there. Okay, so I have this, so it's pretty dry now. It doesn't take long for it to dry. So I'm actually gonna take some, I'm gonna move this, move these right out there. I'm going to take a piece of green from my from my just the paper pad. So I'm just going to take it right on out. There we go. So I pulled out a piece of green. And this is where I find that the ruler is really nice to use. So I can actually see where on my paper. I can see, well, actually you can't see that. There we go. So I can see that's about, about seven and a half inches. It's, it's kind of like, well, it's like seven and three quarters. It's like right there. It's right before the eight. So I know that's how much I need to cut off for. If you don't want, again, if you don't want to use a ruler, you can always just like maybe do a little cut right there, like as you're doing the canvas. And then you just have that little snippet right there. And so I'm just going to cut right down so that I know that's where the end of my canvas is. It doesn't have to be perfect. Put it there. And now I'm going to cut again right up. So this is, I know where this is the bottom of my canvas. It's right here. Can't really see it, but 
I know that that's where it is because I can feel the end of the canvas. So I'm just going to put another cut right there. And then I'm just going to do the same thing but going the other way. There we go. All right, so now we have our grass. So if you want to do like a fun little cut to make it look more like wavy hills, what I just did is I just I just went along the side of the the paper. Oops, it was my glue stick. So I went along. I just went along the paper and I just kind of cut where I saw, saw fit. If you don't want to do that and that's too complicated and it sounds like it would be really hard to do, you don't have to do it. There's all, I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with a, a plane, a flat plane of flowers. The field of flowers is generally flat, so that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to do this since that's what is in the, the project image. So all I'm doing is I'm just going down and I'm going back up. And that creates like a little wave. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to go down. And I'm going to go back up. And then you've got sort of like a rolling hill. And then I'm just going to round off this edge by going down and going back up again. And there. See, it's not exactly the same as in the example. It doesn't have to be because it's just my own thing. And then there we have wavy hills. And I'm just going to move. You can even do something with the scraps. This kind of looks like a leaf, doesn't it? You could kind of, you, if, you, if you didn't have pipe cleaners, you could use the construction paper for leaves. All right, so now I want to adhere this to my canvas or I want to stick it to my canvas using a fancy word there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the liquid glue because like I said, I was having a hard time getting the glue stick to stick to the canvas. Um, but if you if all you have is the glue stick, you can definitely try. Um, but again, just if you have another adhesive other than a glue stick like tape, you could try that. That might work better, but I'm just going to use this liquid glue. And I'm just going to go all the way around, just making sure I have enough glue on there just so it sticks. I always put a little bit in the middle as well. And then I'm just going to flip it over and stick it on. Going back to what you just said about the leaves, <clears throat> we did <laughs> we did just have that question come through that if they didn't have the uh, Chanel stems, if if you could show them how to make leaves with construction paper. So when you oh, get perfect. to that, step, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would love to, I, I would love to do that. I can definitely do that when I get to that part. Okay, so we have our field and we have that. So now I'm going to make some clouds and I'm going to use some white construction paper for that. And I actually have a piece already, already out. So I'm just going to use this. And so for the so the clouds, I, again, I just kind of use that same technique that we did for the, the, for the hills right here, um, but just on little, little pieces of paper. And they can be as big, they can be as small as you want. Clouds are, they are all kinds of different shapes. Like if you go up and you look at clouds in the sky, they are just their own thing. So just cut as much of your construction paper as you want for as big or as small clouds as you want. And then I'm just going to do that same thing where I go up and down with the scissors to kind of make round puffy clouds. So we're going to go up, round, and we're going to go down and up again. See that kind of makes like a little wave. Oh, there we go. And I just don't want any jagged edges, but if you want jagged edges in your clouds, again, clouds just kind of do their own thing. So Make the cloud the way you want. But I like nice puffy clouds. So I'm going to round all those edges. So again, I just go up and then I go down and then you go up again. Kind of makes a fun little cloud. And then we have one more side. Go up and down. And I'm going to round that edge because I think it's a little too, a little too spiky. There we go. We have like a little cloud. And I can just put that anywhere I want. And then let's take this one and we can do that the same way. We could do this one maybe, maybe we cut a little bit more off this one. Make like a, like a longer cloud. Again. We have a great suggestion from Christy that uh, to use cotton balls for clouds. That is a great suggestion. If you have cotton balls, that would look great. Cotton balls make 
really great clouds because they're nice and poofy and soft. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna again round this off. And there we go. We have two clouds and they're completely different and that's perfectly fine. All right, so now I'm gonna glue my clouds to the surface of the canvas. I'm gonna do the same thing. And sometimes it might be a little sticky because the, the paint is still a little sticky and that's okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue around the cloud. I'm gonna stick it down onto the canvas. And you can put the clouds wherever you want. Because the whole, the whole sky is gonna have clouds. If you wanted a cloud down here, you can have a cloud down here. You could have a cloud up here. Or if you wanted to take like some yellow and, and make a sun, you could do that too. Or if you're doing if you're doing a different scene, if it's at night or something, you could make a moon or you could even use glitter for stars or something like that. I think that would look really pretty. There we go. So we have our clouds and so now they're drying. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to form our flower. So the way I do this is I take the center of the flower and I put that down first. And then I'm gonna put all the little petals around the center. Um, and so what I do is I take the liquid glue and I just put a little dab of it on the petal itself or on the center. And then like, let's say we want our flower to be right there. So now I know my flower is gonna start right there. And then I'm gonna take all of the petals and I'm just gonna do that same thing. Actually gotta put a little bit more on there. And then I'm gonna put it around the, oops. And if they move a little bit, that's okay. You can just adjust them. I'm just gonna move them, put them around the center like that. I'm just gonna keep doing that same technique all the way around. And if they, again, if they're wet and they move a little bit, that's fine. Just move them to where you want them to be and then they'll dry and then they'll be stuck where you need them to be. There we go. We got three down, we got three more to go. I'm just doing that same technique, putting a little dab of glue and then putting it around. And you can see all my, all my petals are a little different and that's perfectly fine. Put that little dab of glue. I'm gonna leave it's a little opening for the last flower, little last petal. All right, and there we go. There we go. See so if you can move them. And now we have a little flower. So now we're gonna do the stem. So I'm gonna show you with the Chanel stems first. And then I can show you how to make a little flower out of construction paper if you don't, if you don't have the, the Chanel sticks or pipe cleaners or whatever you want to call them. I got all kinds of different greens in this pack. I like the different greens because I think each flower is a little different. They're not all going to be the same color. So the way I do the stems, so you can do it two ways. So I, I actually, what I did for this one is I cut the stems with the scissors. But what I found was when I cut them, they left really jagged edges and it was sharp. And I could have easily cut myself on them. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm actually just gonna fold it. So I think that's just, it's a little, it's a little easier and you, you don't run the risk of cutting yourself on the stem. So I'm gonna make little flowers are not little flowers, but little leaves from the stem as I fold. So the way I would do this is so I take like a portion of the stem and then I just fold it like that. And you can put it wherever wherever you want the, the leaf to go. And so when I so I have the I have this the top of the, the, the stem and then I just fold right there and now I'm just gonna twist. Just gonna twist like this and I'll do this a couple of times. So I know this part is going to be a little complicated. I just wanna make it so that it's nice and, and 
nice and secure. There we go. So now we have one leaf. And so to do that again, I'm actually gonna go towards the middle and I'm gonna do that same thing. And I'm actually gonna fold it in the opposite direction. And then again, I'm just gonna twist or you can, you can fold it over if that's easier for you. And then just pull it apart. Twist it a little bit. And then there you go. So you have your, you have your, your leaves and your stem. And if, you see that stem's a little bit too big. So what I do sometimes is I just put it a little bit, put the extra in the back there. And if you just fold it, now it's a little smaller. Now you have your, your stem and your leaves, just like that. I moved it a little bit. All right, so to secure the stem to the, the canvas, again, I just put a little bit of glue on there. Just put like a nice strip of glue. All the, I do it all the way down um, just to make sure that it stays secure. You don't have to glue the leaves if you don't want because those are already secured. I just put it all the way down. And I might need a little bit more. Might actually be good to glue. You can put a little bit of glue right there for that leaf. And then if that doesn't work, just adhere it where you can. All right. And you might have to hold it. So this one, this one, this one is uh, it's being a little difficult with me. But if you hold it down long enough, it, it should it should fit here. All right, here we go. And um, all right, let's do. Okay, so the next thing I was going to say is I was going to show you how to do a leaf from construction paper. All right, so the way you can do a leaf, so you can do it one of two ways. So if you wanted to take a little pencil, and I'm just gonna push this to the side. If you wanted to just use a pencil and draw a leaf, and basically what a leaf shape is, is it's just kind of like a circle with a point at the end. So you just, you can just draw a leaf. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then it could be something like that. You can see kind of, the leaf shape. And then if you wanted to cut that out, you could do it that way. And then you have yourself like a little leaf. If you wanted to round it off, you could. You have like yourself a little leaf. And you could do that for leaves instead. And then again, you could make like a little strip. the stem. You could have your stem, and you could have your leaf, and that would also work for your flower. All right. Are there any more questions or There's a question to repeat the steps of using the chenille stem again with um, the, yes, the absolutely. Let me show you that again. That was a complicated step. All right. So we start with the stem. And so what I do is I, so I make the, I make the leaves in two separate spots. So I make a leaf at the top and then one in the middle. So for the one at the top, I take the top of it and I just fold it wherever you want. You don't have, it can be as big and as small as you want. And then I just twist. I take the I take the top and I and, and wherever it lands on the stem and I, I hold that together and then I just twist it. Just twist it. And then again you can make the leaf if that's too big of a leaf, you can keep twisting until it's smaller. And then it's a smaller leaf. And then you take this pipe cleaner and you just pull it up a little bit. And then there you have one leaf. And then if you go to the middle. And just do that same thing. You take the end and you fold it up. 
And actually, I'm going to take the middle and I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to twist it just like that. And it makes, makes the, the second length. And then we take the end and we just fold it up. I'm actually going to, yeah, it's like that. If you want, don't want the, the, the leaf to be so, so near the bottom, you could always like fold it back down so you have a little bit more stem. Does that make sense? Do we want to see it again? Yes, please. All right. Okay, so we have our stem. So we're going to take the top and we're going to fold it down. And then we're going to pinch it and we're going to twist. And that makes a leaf. And then we're going to take the top and we're going to fold it back up. And now we're going to take the middle. We're going to pinch it again. We're going to twist. And we're going to fold it back down. And then if you don't want the stem to be that big, you just fold it back. Just like that. And again, if you don't want to do it that way, you can always cut it. You can just cut it. If you take your scissors, and it's a little hard to cut through. You might take a couple of snaps in there. You can just have your stem. You can just take a little bit more. Again, it's just a little difficult to cut through. And again, watch out for little pipes, like these little pokies. You might, you might poke yourself. But you just fold it and just twist. And to adhere it here, you might need a little glue, or you could try just like folding it. But that's how you would cut it and put it on, on the stem. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Perfect. Well, I could try it. I could do another flower if we want to see that again, or? Yes, I think so. All right, perfect. I will do one more flower. I think we have time for just one more. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do a blue flower. I like blue. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut six strips for the blue flower. All right. I'm going to just do exactly what I did before. Okay, so we have our strip. Yeah, well, it's going to take it end to end, fold it like that, makes a little crease, and we're going to cut. So now we have two strips. We want six strips, so we're going to do that again, and then we'll have four, and we're going to do that again, and we'll have six. Strip. Just going to cut the strips again. I am not being super precise about how I'm cutting these strips. The only thing you need to keep in mind is if it's too thin, it's going to be harder to roll, and if it's too thick, it's going to be a lot bigger. But again, if you want to do a bigger flower, or a bigger flower, you can. So I'm just going to fold it end to end. Fold it right there. Makes the little crease. And then I'm going to cut it. Just like that. So now I have four strips. We're going to do it one more time. So we're going to cut just a strip. Each strip gives us two or two petals for our flower. Take it end to end, and as you see, they're not exactly the same, and that's fine. They don't have to be. And then I fold it, open it up, see the little crease, cut it there. And now I have all of the petals for my flower. And now I'm gonna do yellow, 
I have, oh, I do have that yellow. Where did I put that? I'm going to reuse this yellow strip that we cut earlier. I already have that ready to go. So I'm going to do the same thing where I roll it up, just like what we were doing before, where I just fold it and I just start rolling. Let me know if you can't see. I know sometimes we have a habit of getting off camera. Definitely want to make sure you guys can see. If you have any more fun flower facts, let me know. It's been fun learning all about flowers. All right. So again, I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to just put a good amount of glue on the back. And this glue stick's kind of been out for a while. It's a little dry. Make sure. Oh. While we wait for any fun facts to come in, um, can you give some other suggestions what they could add to their art, their piece of art? Yeah, absolutely. So if you wanted to, you could, if you wanted to cut like little, if you wanted to, you could use, you could use like blue to maybe make like a little pond or something. You could, you could, even if you didn't want to do rolled flowers, you could just like use construction paper to make like little construction paper flowers. Or you could like maybe you could take you could take like a marker or something. You could draw like little birds in the sky. Like um, I don't know if, if if you've ever learned the technique to do like if you draw like a little M with a marker, like a black marker, it looks like a little bird flying in the distance. Um, let me see here. What else could you do? Put suggestions of what you're doing in the chat. I'd love to know if you're doing anything super creative with yours. You could do anything because it is your work of art. If you wanted to put a rainbow, you can put a rainbow. You could make like little strips of construction paper, make like a little rainbow, or you could make even make like little rain clouds. If you wanted it to be like watering the plants. You could do like little drops of rain. You could cut like little raindrops. You can do whatever you want because it is your work of art. So some of the things that people are adding are trees, butterflies, a sun. Oh, that's good. Um, oh, we have uh, some are actually using real leaves from their yard for the. What the a creative plants. idea. That's great. I love that. Good job, guys. The whole point is to, to just, just get our creative brains going. So you guys are doing a great job. We have a fun fact. So flowers can grow on every continent except Antarctica. Oh, that is a fun fact. That's very cool. Thanks for, for putting that in the chat. That's really interesting. All right. Oh, Stacy, we have a question for you. What is your sure. favorite color? My favorite color. Oh, that's a that's a good question. So my favorite color is a specific type of blue. I really like a blue called cobalt blue. And it's really, it's a really deep blue. It's kind of like an ocean blue. It's very pretty. Let us know your favorite colors in the chat. Love to know everyone's favorite color. All right. We're just rolling up these flowers. Lindsay, what's your favorite color? You want to tell everyone your favorite color? Sure. My favorite color is green. Ooh, the bright, nice. bright Kelly green. Ooh, I like that. Green's a great color. You know, I have a fun fact about the color green. Do you know that you, the human eye can see more shades of green than any other color? That's very interesting. Yes. We have pink, magenta, pink and purple, uh, lots of pink, orange. Pink's a great color. Orange. Red. Blue, turquoise, teal. Those are all great colors. Here we go. 
and keep rolling. Awesome. All right. So we're going to put the glue down. There we go. All of our little rolls here. We have two more to go. Feel free to let us know what you're doing in the chat. You know, another thing you could do is if you're doing a night night sky, you could make like little 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 dots, like maybe with paint. You could make little little dots for stars, or you could make you could make all kinds of things. You could make a you could make your sky purple. Or maybe you could make your sky green. Sky can be all kinds of colors. It's all kinds of colors depending on the time of day or the weather. And honestly, it's your creation. It can be your world. You can have any color sky you want. If you wanted to make your sky rainbow, you can make your sky rainbow. There we go. All right. The most important part of this class is that you have fun. If you're having fun, you're doing it right. All right. There we go. And we're rolling the last one. There we go. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just taking our time. Just rolling the strip as best we can. And then I'm just putting a little dab of glue on the end so it sticks together. There we go. So I got all my rolls. So we're going to adhere it again to the canvas. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, I'm going to take my, my yellow, which is my center, and I'm going to put a little dab of glue down on the center. And then I'm just going to find where I want the flower to go. And then I'm going to take all of the little petals and I'm going to put them around it. I'm just going to repeat what I did where I put the glue down. And I put them there. And just all around the flower. And again, you could do any kind of flower you want. If there's like a specific flower you really like, do that flower. Like if you could do, you could do all red and it could be a rose or you could do like, maybe like some bigger rolls and it could be like a tulip. You could do all kinds of things. Just make it your own. There we go. I'm just going to continue doing what I was doing. I was just putting a dab of glue and then putting the petals down. Taking that, putting the petals down, just like that. There we go. And then I'm going to take one of our stems. Just put that down. I actually can make this maybe a little bit smaller. I just kind of folded it in the middle to make it smaller. And there we go. Now it's nice and small. And then just put glue, glue down wherever you want to adhere it. Um, I'm gonna put glue right here. Put some glue on the stems or on the leaves if you wanted to. And then just put it down. And you know, another thing you could do is if you have some colored pencils, you could even like, you could maybe put like some little like circles or, or, or you could put like maybe like draw a ladybug in there or some like some, some different little, little creatures if you wanted to. You can do whatever you want with your, your field, your flowers, because they're yours. 
And that's the great thing about making stuff is that at the end, you have a creation that that's all you, it's completely you and you made it and it's yours. And that's the best part. All right. Well, I think that's, that's everything for me. Lindsay, do we have any final questions before we sign off here? No, but there were a few compliments on your artwork. So oh, thank up. you. Awesome. Well, I want to thank every single one of you that joined today. We're so glad that you're you're here and you're having fun and, and you're making stuff with us. And again, if you need to watch this again, you want to go back and, and if you don't have the right supplies or if you just need to rewatch something, this video is being recorded and it will be available tomorrow on michaels.com slash classes and on our YouTube page. And again, we'd love to see what you created today. So if you want to share your work and you have your permission from your parent um, to post it on social media, feel free to hash or to tag us with hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Michaels classes. And we'll see you in the next spring make camp. We have them going all week. So feel free to sign up for the next one. We have some really great projects and it's, it's a fun way to just take an hour to just enjoy learning and crafting. All right, well, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and goodbye.